I think the patterns that you can encounter between economic data and stock price movements are way stronger than anything you're going to find from retrospective price movements. Usually we're working with Yahoo Finance data. And Yahoo Finance is a great source of free financial information. What I think is more useful is economic data. And a really good provider of economic data is the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve has a website called the Federal Reserve Economic Database, or FRED. So once we have FRED installed, we can use it to take pretty much any sort of data we want. We're used to bringing in S&P 500 data from Yahoo Finance, yf.download, and we can do the same thing here with the Federal Reserve Economic Database's API. So fred.getseries, and we search for the S&P 500, click on it. You'll see that we have a little series code here. So what if we're interested in the volatility index or the federal, the federal funds rate? You can get all of that. So federal funds rate, federal funds effective rate, and we do the same thing. So fred.getseries, string, fed funds, great, volatility index. Now, VIX CLS is the name of the code. So let's go back to Python and paste this in here and call that the name of our data frame and take a look at VIX. So this is the volatility index since 1990. And we want to concatenate our two data frames, SPY and our final data frame has the S&P 500 and the percent change and the volatility index aligned along the date. And now you can see how the S&P 500 interacts with the volatility index. I say a lot of what does not work. What does work, I think, is much more likely to come from Fred than Yahoo Finance. But the integration or knowing how to work with both of them together can, can put you ahead of a lot of people.